All right, I figured since this has been like the new thing, I shouldn't say new, it's been around a couple of years, but I know people are scooping up these mega boxes that aren't available for very long. Uh, I would open a few, uh, basically one of each of these. So just your normal fat pack, which doesn't give you much of a guarantee. You can get some of your legendary or frozen series, um, Opticrome, Holofoil on every two packs. Um, the option comes every six packs. Uh, then we have our blaster, which you get a rare card, and then you get a laser. Uh, and then your two cracked ice, which is where your biggest value is. So, start with just a little fat pack. So in this one, you're basically just going to get a lot of your common basic cards as you're going through... Um, and then if you're lucky, you'll hit like an Optichrome or one of the other cards in here as well. But typically just a lot of your basic cards. Um, frills that are the ones that you kind of look for, out for, they're going to be the lighter blue. So hopefully we'll grab one of those in one of these boxes so you'll get to check one of those out. So so not as big of the, the fat packs if you got a whole box. Um, I know if you're getting a box of them, you're going to get some guaranteed hits in, that one, in the whole box. But when you're buying them a pack at a time... It's kind of a crapshoot because they're a lot more limited. Where you know, last year, um, I believe you're guaranteed, um, besides for the laser and the bonus card, there's a good chance of hitting these in like every other box, I think, as well as or something like that. So, so I put our laser card on the bottom so we could see that one last because it is packaged separately uh, in the boxes. So, you might have been already able to see it, but no big deal. We don't care. So, on all these, you're going to have your character names and numbers on the back for the sets. Um, you're going to have your outfits, of course, then your different tools. The tools actually have uh, tools on front and back, so they're two-sided. Said you're gonna get a good stack of basics. Really, your biggest hits people are looking for are. I know if you get one of these in like the cracked ice, that's a big card. I've seen those kind of listed as we've gone through as well. But again, usually it's your cracked ice and the big ones. That's why the mega boxes are such a big deal right now. They kind of have the uh, cards that everyone is looking for. So I'll keep all these cards separate. You can see how many cards you're getting each one. I mean, besides for it shows it on there. Kind of your expectation. That card's kind of chipped up. So I'm kind of glad that wasn't one of the uh, better ones. Yeah, it's kind of interesting having all the names of everything on the back because, of course, I think a lot of people I know that are very familiar. I'm not as familiar with Fortnite, but play, they might know a little bit, but then your outfits are still going to be different. Um, and so your variation of outfits, you're going to have epic, rare, uncommon, legendary. And kind of see our laser. So we did get... At least one hollow foil. So we only got one hollow foil um, without getting any optochrome or anything in this box. And that is an epic outfit. So nothing too crazy. I will open this. I think this is that important to leave sealed. I'd probably rather have it in the case anyways if it were an expensive card than in this sleeve. Goldie, rare outfit, and there's your laser. So this is your hollow foil, and you have your laser. Hopefully we'll get an optochrome in our other box. So this is really what we got out of the blaster. So now the magnet. This is where you could say like the biggest hits I've seen because people really want those crack types. Um, so they're going to be loose in the box, so I'm going to put them right on the bottom, and there's so many packs that are in here, so it's kind of crazy because you're getting um, 
getting Mega a ton of packs. So we'll leave those cracked ice at the bottom. Kind of go through on these, so. Yeah, it's going to be very similar in what we're getting when it comes to cards. Um, obviously, you're getting twice as many as a blaster. Which, again, if you can get these at retail, um, it's always the best price. Um, and then when we, if we do catch a Frozen, we'll have to show that one, which would be really nice. I think I do have... Hopefully, we get something in these, because... We haven't really got much for even an Optichrome. There we go. <laughs> and it is weird, uh, rather than inserting the cracked ice, I think that's what makes it interesting as well, is they just put them separate from the pack. So pack-wise, it doesn't seem to change too much because you're still getting the same amount of cards per pack. There's pretty more in here. Um, I know the rare bonus card I thought was interesting in the other one because we obviously only got one holofoil in that blaster box. Boy, kind of brutal for getting some, some hits. I hope the crack dice are pretty good. So yeah, this is your Fortnite. I mean, this is really, it's kind of interesting because again, I don't think a lot of these commons are gonna be worth where the money is because you get some huge stacks of them. Building the set would be kind of interesting. So now that's positive. So that's a good one to hit. Then I'll kind of show. So this is Snowdrift, which is a frozen outfit. So that's kind of one of the essentially one of the hits you can get is the frozen so you can kind of see the front even as a base would have looked a lot different than a lot of the other ones so it's a hollow foil and a frozen and it'll show frozen outfit so there's a limited amount of these there's not near as many uh and they're kind of one of the nicer hits anyways and we got it in a hollow foil so great card hit yeah, I don't know what's worth. I can, I can pull it up. I always usually have my computer by me. Even before we get to the uh, last pack. Series 3. Snowdrift Hollow. Well, of course, they're going to be listed at all over on eBay, so anywhere from 35 to 100 but the last one of those sold for 28 bucks. So, again, that's nice because we haven't even shown our cracked ice yet, which I'm going to probably before this pack. In fact, no, I'll just cover it up. I'll just cover them up. Ooh, and look at that. We did. We were lucky enough to get an Optichrome in there as well. Alright, so yes, yeah, so there's your base. There's your hollow foil. It looks like it almost has a mark across the center. And then here is your Optichrome. I was kind of feeling the center of that. You can kind of see it in the lighting too. And so I was just kind of feeling if there's actually a, a mark there or not. It doesn't feel like it. It could just be from making the card. So this is your Optichrome. Scuba Jonesy. So this is like a normal texture and weight of a chrome. So not too bad already. Here it is. So we have an epic outfit. We'll 
flip that one. That's a sweet looking card. So on these, I'll pop this one up and just see what, what these are going for, just so people get a reference and then we have a rare. So what's crazy is this Suki one has gone for anywhere from 45 to 91. Now the problem is they're popping up. There probably will be more and more will be listed, but this is the only one I see. I mean, I don't see any more listed on eBay as, at all yet. So, so that Suki is the first one sold for 45. This last one sold for $91. But then our epic Snowfoot Wait, none of these have sold. So these ones are gonna be a little harder to tell. So not many have sold, there's a ton of them listed. So I would imagine our Suki is the more valuable, which you know, the last one sold for 91 on bids, not best offer or anything. So that's why you're getting a lot of value out of the boxes, because you're getting the two cracked dice. Um, you're getting your, once in a while, your Optichrome. And I can even look up that one as well. Don't need to as much with those, but... Yeah, there's just not a lot listed right now. So I think that's why the mega boxes are going for a bunch. But uh, yeah, I think we'll see a lot more of the singles listed and then we'll kind of see, it'll kind of work itself out. But this is why the mega boxes at 25 bucks are such a better deal than both of the other ones. Now you can hit the others, but the cracked dice that you're getting two of, it seems like those always pay for these $25 uh, boxes. Um, imagine you get two, even if they're down to $12.50 a piece, if every other card isn't worth anything. So, um, so yeah, I would search these out in retail. Um, at $50, bucks, it is going to be a lot harder because that's typically what they're going for secondary now. So there is your three different Fortnite boxes.